Yeah, I'm not gonna keep that part, so anyways. Oh. All right, hey, welcome to another brew day. Today we are doing just a classic American lager. It's gonna be clear and it's gonna be uh, yellow. <laughs> uh, it's really simple grain bill. We've just got uh, nine pounds of Pilsner, one pound of flaked corn, and one pound of flaked rice. Uh, there are a few little water additions. And then the hops at 60 minutes, it's gonna get 1.3 ounces of tetanang, and then again at 15 minutes of the same. And that's pretty much it. Uh, should be a pretty easy brew day. And then this thing is gonna lager for it looks like 45 days. So let's get on into the brew day. Cheers. of hops plus the uh, Irish moss and yeast nutrient. All right, it has been eight weeks and since we started this one and the light American lager is ready. Let's see if I can get that up there for some clarity. Pretty nice clarity on this one. It's still not 100% there, but I'm delivering it to my brother tomorrow and so I wanted to get a tasting video done. So um, right off the bat, it smells ready. It smells biscuity. It's got the the good lager <laughs> aroma to it. Um, there were some apple notes at first, but those have kind of gassed off. The The sulfur notes all gassed off as well. Um, and so the aroma is just very clean. It's not as clean as something like a Miller Lite, thank God, but it, it is, you know, it's a clean lager smell. Little tiny bit of apple still there, but not much. Mostly just the, the bread and kind of almost a sourdough hint, but not really there. So, um, yeah, it's kind of there on the aroma. Let's see if I can get some of this stuff off the glass. That might help with the, the clarity. So you can see pretty well through it. And, you know, it's not totally clarified yet, like I said. So let's go in. Yeah, and the taste is right there. It's a clean crisp 
not a lot of flavor really it's you know it's one of those kind of liquid bread beers that's supposed to be easy to pound they call them lawnmower beer and you know that I, I brewed this for my brother because he really enjoys lawnmower beer all summer long and I wanted it to be ready right before his summer kicked off and so it's kind of unintentionally became a quarantine beer but I forget exactly what the gravity readings were but the overall ABV on this is 4.6 so whatever that was to whatever it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, good beer, great, easy, easy recipe. Um, I did have to lager it for a long time. I have the fermenter to do that. So I could see that being an issue if you don't have that or a way to pressure ferment. Um, but it you know, could also be done in a keg in the fridge. You could let it lager for a while in there and then transfer it to another keg to clear it up. So there's some options to do this kind of beer. and. Definitely like this better than the trying the Kavik Pilsner, which ended up really hazy and never really did clear up, even though it tasted good. So, cheers.